Hi, it's Nurse Kelly, the Science and Nursing Content Development Manager here at Nurse Hub. Welcome to our HESI Anatomy Question of the Day, focused on the cardiovascular system. Although this question is focused on the HESI exam, it can assist with other ent entrance exams as well. For access over to 7,500 questions with in-depth rationale, head on over to nursehub.com and sign up to become a premium member today. Let's get started. Question of the day. Which type of blood cell is responsible for acquired immunity? Is it A, thrombocytes, B, erythrocytes, C, granulocytes, or D, lymphocytes? Please pause here so that you have time to try and answer the question yourself. Do not worry, we will go through this together in just a bit. Good luck, you've got this. And the correct answer is D, lymphocytes. Let's discuss why this is correct and the other options are not. Lymphocytes are responsible for acquired immunity. And that is why that is the correct answer. It is important that you first know what acquired immunity is, a type of immunity that develops when a person's immune system responds to a foreign substance or microorganism or that occurs after a person receives antibodies from another source. Acquired immunity is immunity you develop over your lifetime. It can come from a vaccine, exposure to an infection or a disease, another person's antibodies. Um, now we can discuss lymphocytes. So there are two types of lymphocytes, B lymphocytes that produce antibodies uh, remember that antibodies mark infected cells or foreign cells um, for destruction by other immune cells. So T lymphocytes produce cytokines. Remember that cytokines destroy the infected cells and the cancerous cells. There's an image here for you to review as well. Time for a quick study tip courtesy of Nurse Hub. So as you go through the topic quizzes in Nurse Hub, you are going to encounter high volumes of catchy content that you need to know. These lessons are packed with content, but what do you do with all of it? You can make flashcards on all the key terms, including the stem of the question and also the answer choices of the question. So do you have note cards on hand? Go get them. Let's do this one together. Now let's review our incorrect answer options. Thrombocytes, they are responsible for blood clotting. They do not have anything to do with immunity, so we know that A can be eliminated. If you have your flashcards handy and are keeping track of the terms that we discuss, you can add thrombocytes to that pack of note cards. The next incorrect answer explanation, erythrocytes. They are actually responsible for transporting oxygen and delivering oxygen to cells. Erythrocytes contain hemoglobin, which help in oxygen transport. They do not have anything to do with immunity and can therefore be eliminated. The final incorrect answer explanation. So, the only other answer choice that falls in the immunity blood cell arena is C, granulocytes. However, granulocytes are involved in innate immunity, not acquired immunity. So in order to be able to determine uh, or eliminate this answer option, you have to know what innate immunity is. So innate immunity or nonspecific immunity is the defense system in which you were born. <clears throat> so it protects you against all antigens. Innate immunity involves barriers that keep harmful materials um, from entering your body. So these barriers form the first line of defense in immune response. So some additional information about granulocytes that you may need to know are that they are white blood cells. Um, they have multiple lobed nuclei and granules in their cytoplasm. So those granules um, that you can see in the image that is on this slide contain enzymes that digest pathogens and induce inflammation. Granulocytes are also called polymorphonucleocytes. 
um, they include eosinophils and basophils. So eosinophils, they protect your body against parasites and they function in allergic reactions. So if you have an allergy, you've probably heard the term eosinophil in the past. Basophils, they function in allergy and inflammation. So great job today on the question of the day. Please subscribe below to the Nurse Hub YouTube channel to see more videos. Turn on the notifications, so then you can be the first to see when a new video drops. Better yet, become a premium member at nursehub.com and gain access to over 7,500 questions, topic quizzes with lessons, um, specific courses and materials to help you be successful on that entrance exam. More exciting is that we are working on courses to bring you from a passing on your nursing entrance exam to a successful nursing student in your first semester of nursing school. So these are topics that may include time management, test anxiety, um, nursing test prep, APA formatting, and those dosage math calculations that you will definitely need to know. So thanks for watching. This has been Nurse Kelly from Nurse Hub. Take care.